Bit breaking news in that Nexium sex cult case. The convicted leader of the cult, Keith Ranieri, has just been sentenced to 120 years in prison. News source Rana Navini is outside court in downtown Brooklyn. Rana, what can you tell us about what happened? Yeah, well, Adam, when you add it all up, it's a cumulative sentence of 120 years for Keith Ranieri. The judge this afternoon saying that Ranieri has failed to express any sort of remorse for what he's done, and the judge felt that a strong sentence was warranted in order to protect the public. Ranieri was convicted last year for his role in what prosecutors describe as a sex cult called Nexium. The charges he was convicted of include racketeering, sex trafficking, sexual exploitation of a child, and human human trafficking. There were 15 impact statements in court today, some describing the sexual and emotional abuse they faced, even being branded with Ranieri's initials, while others here in court today expressed their support for Ranieri. Ranieri himself also spoke before sentencing, saying he is deeply sorry, although he also said he believes he's innocent. Now, this case has drawn international attention in part because of some of the big names involved. Actress Allison Mack and Seagram's liquor heiress Claire Bronfman were part of the group. Bronfman was sentenced earlier this month to 81 months in prison for her role. And we just heard outside of court this afternoon after the sentencing from one of the prosecutors. Take a listen. It is our sincere hope that today's sentence does deliver some measure of justice uh, for those victims who suffered in uh, immeasurable uh, and, and numerous ways. Hopefully, brings some closure to them. Certainly, the judge's sentence, uh, which in effect incapacitates Keith Ranieri for the rest of his life. Yeah, and Ranieri is 60 years old, so a 120 year sentence, effectively a life sentence, of course. In addition to the prison time, he was also sentenced to pay a fine of $1,750,000. Reporting live in downtown Brooklyn, Rana Novini, News 4, New York.